What's up, YouTube? It's Dane4289 here again with a Gears of War horror video. This time, I'm playing with a couple of friends that we normally play with in a white major screen. Um, shout outs to Frost Dragon 667, Raven 13 Tess, and Mecha Billy 5 for joining this, you know, session. Well, not really. I joined them because they wanted me to, but we did, you know, a five person horror mode. We also had one other person with us, but he was a guest on Raven's uh, Gamer Tag, so. You know, shout out to that guy. I can't say his name because I don't want to give out his actual name. But yeah, shout out to him. And this is a boss wave, I believe, that we were fighting uh, two berserkers on. We each had a job. Two of us would concentrate on the. No, three of us would concentrate on the berserkers. And two of us would run around the perimeter and kill like any stragglers, like, you know, the, dr the drones, the grinders and stuff like that um, to make sure they don't get on the people who are focusing on the preservers. Like, you know, I just destroy both a grinder and a boomer with a shot off shotgun. And I don't care what nobody says. They can say the saw off is cheap all they want. They can say the saw off sucks. The saw off is awesome. If you know how to use it, that thing is awesome. I mean, I think the only people who think it would be awesome is the people who actually use it. Well, who actually don't use it. Because they don't understand it. Like, the saw of shotgun is more like a melee weapon that pretty much annihilates anything in front of you within, like, a two feet. A uh, two foot width of, um, what's in front of you. It's either two or three. Two or three feet. I can't remember. But anything that's directly in front of you, you get annihilated, except for like, you know, Berserkers or Arcantis or Burmax, of course. But, um. You know, it, it's a good gun. Like, you just gotta learn to use it. You have to know, like, what the range is on it. You have to know what situations to use it in and what situations not to use it in. Like, if you're, like, 50 feet away and you're trying to use the solid off shotgun, it's not gonna work. Like, I don't know who told you guys you can use the sawed-off shotgun for 50 feet away. Like, example, if I'm at that turret and I'm trying to shoot that guy that you just saw over there with sawed-off shotgun, I'm not going to hit anything but that crate in front of me. It's stupid. I messed up my reload right there, otherwise it would have been dead. But yeah, it only works if they're damaged a little bit. Like, certain... uh. Certain monsters like you know the Lambit, Dredge, or um, the Gunkers. Like Gunkers are the worst. I don't even know why they put them in this game, but Gunkers are very annoying. And see, see what I mean? Two foot radius. Just kill two people. And save my friend. So that that's how it all works. Anyway, there's a couple of things I want to cover in this video. Um, first one is I noticed we're not getting a lot of comments for the PlayStation Point Card Contest. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it over to a SBOS Live card. And you guys can go back and comment and favorite the videos that are there right now after the Tosite announced the last one. So, I would say after his the Sky of Horror video with the um, Resistance and Sky of Mix video. After that video, comment on the videos up to two times to gain a point. Favorite the video for two points to get the maximum amount of points. Then I'm going to say on Saturday, because I'm going to release a couple of more videos before Saturday. On Saturday, I'll tell you the points up, do another video, and announce the winner after that. And then you know after that we won't do a contest for a while because we're not getting as much feedback as we like so until we get more you know people interacting and more people like you know joining the conversations about the videos and stuff like that like we had a couple of new people actually join the conversation so you know thanks for commenting thanks for like favoring the videos thanks for subbing to our new subscribers that just uh, sub to us I think it was about 15 of y'all and um you guys are very appreciated Thank you uh, for you know, watching our videos, taking time out of your day to, you know, take time to listen to us rant about certain things. You know, 
destroy landed wretches and drones and locusts and all that other stuff. But, uh, yeah, uh, after that, you know, we won't do the contest for a while just, just because we need, we want more people to interact. We want more people to be active on the channel. So, if you want more contests, be more active on the channel. That way, you know, we can do more. Like, we, there's so much we want to do and we can't do it. I'm not going to tell you guys what we want to do, but there's so much we want to do and we can't do it. Because we don't have any, we don't have enough, you know, backing to do. We don't have enough people that are like, oh yeah, you know, nice video, or oh yeah, like, you know, asking questions or something like that. Like, ask questions. Don't be scared to ask questions. Ask questions about the video. Ask, you know, how we like the game, as if you should get the game, because more than likely it's going to be yes, because every game we buy, we love. And, you know, if you want to play with us sometime, like, ask, like, you know, when we'll be on, ask this. <clears throat> you know, just go ahead and ask. Like, it's not. <laughs> it's not. We're, we're not going to ignore you if you just ask us, you know, what you want to know. We, we don't annoy her. We don't ignore our subscribers. We don't. If somebody comments on a video, we, we respond as soon as we can. Like most of us are busy. Well, actually, all three, all four of us are busy because now Hush D's is part of us. And um, you know, we're we we want you guys to interact with us. That's all we want. So I'm gonna stop ranting about the interaction thing because I know I'm boring some of you guys. Oh, this is a pretty epic moment right here. Yeah, we're gonna go get some ice cream. No ice cream for you. Come back next week. Anyway. <laughs> That's a one shot triple kill collateral thing right there. That's the first time I've done that, so I thought I would put it in this video. Because everybody in the party was like, oh my god. This was another pretty epic moment. Um, I think I was the only one left, and I had nothing. No help whatsoever. If that decoy wasn't there, I probably would have died already. But I pretty much mowed everybody down with that uh, turret gun. This one here, I was just playing around with the guy. I didn't even care anymore. I was just like, eh, do 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 do. Make this guy my bitch. Blah 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 blah. And punch him in the face. Bitch, 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 bitch. Bigger bitch. Anyway. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm still kind of sick. Um, don't laugh at me when I use the mortar because I have no idea how to freaking use this thing. I don't know the range of it. Nothing. I don't understand how this like targeting system works for this thing. I wish they had a different targeting system like the one they have for the grenade toss. Only like when you target, it goes out more as you hold the button down. So... Say it starts off on top of you. Then, like, maybe there should be, like, an arch. Like, okay. As you wind it up, the arch goes out farther. And you then you see, like, a dot where it's going to land at. That would help out a lot. But then again, yeah, maybe people would use the mortar more if that happened. Matter of fact, just ignore everything I just said. Because I just realized how stupid that was. Um... Right now we're fighting annoying polyps. Like we hate those things. Uh, between the tickers and the polyps, we died a lot because there are just too many of them. There's hordes and hordes of tickers and polyps. There, there was this one wave where it was like nothing but tickers, and maybe like two wretches or two lambent or something. It was stupid. And, like three of us died because of that. Was, see, look at all these tickers. <laughs> and uh. The next video I'm gonna do is gonna be a beast mode video because I know some of you want to see what beast mode is like. Beast mode is basically horde mode. The only difference is you actually have to buy your character. So you like say you want to be like you know a drone, you have to purchase the drone. If you want to be a berserker, you have to pay like three thousand dollars to be a berserker. It's kind of crazy. Whereas this, like you know, you have to buy ammo, buy um fortifications, buy weapons, stuff like that. Okay, that's understandable. But for you to actually, you know, have to buy your characters. And some of the characters came in fine cover. Like if you're a grenadier or a um 
which I don't understand why it's called a grenadier when it's using a shotgun, not a grenade launcher or something. But if you're a grenade, if you're a grenadier and a drone, you can like you know get behind cover and stuff. If you're a cantus, you cannot get behind cover. If you're a berserker, obviously you can't get behind. Anything big, bigger than a cantus, you can't get behind cover. I do like being the savage corpser though. I do like being the giant centipede because those things are freaking fun. They annoy the crap out of people. And when you get in a certain waves, we just like, you know, go all out corpse on people. Because they're hard to kill. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is um, I plan to do a few more PlayStation 3 vids. Because I know some of you want, like, you know, more PlayStation love on here. Some of you want more PC love. So I think there's a new game coming out on PC soon that I might start playing. I'm not 100% sure yet, and I applied for the Diablo 3 beta. I don't know if I'm going to get in, though. Hopefully, I do, because I really want to play Diablo 3. And I might put some more Witcher 2 videos up here, because I did get farther in the game, finally. And I may do League of Legends video, too. Yeah, I know. Some of y'all just say, yeah, League of Legends, woo! But, um... I used to play a lot, now I don't play so much. I don't know why. And we want to be very diverse with this channel. We want to make sure we have different kind of games up. Like we want to try and make every video a different game. It's kind of hard to when the games come out only but so much. So we may revert to some old games. Like you know, I'm, I was thinking about doing like you know Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 bit. But then I remember, you know, Tenkaichi Tag Team or T Ultimate Tenkaichi is coming out next month. So I may wait until Ultimate Tenkaichi comes out to even worry about doing a Dragon Ball video. Um, I still have to do my White Knight Chronicles 2 video. I'm waiting until I get a bit farther in the game to do that. And I still have to do a No More Heroes video, even though the game's pretty old. But I want to do a video on it because it's kind of fun. Plus, I've been playing it with the PlayStation Move. Now, PlayStation Move is like the Wii. It's like, uh, bam, you dead, bitch. Anyway, it's like the Wii. It's like, matter of fact, it's just like the Wii. The only difference is you use the camera to sense, that's the sensor, instead of a sensor bar. Like, it's fun, it's easy to use, but at the same time, it's like, alright, well, I don't know, but anyway, the video's dwindling down. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and later.